Okay guys, so it didn't work this time either it seems like, so uh, basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, that I am going to go ahead and uh, try to turn off USB debugging mode. I think that could be one of the reasons why it's not working because, you know, when I go into my computer I can't see it uh, when I have USB debugging mode on. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and confirm that I don't have any current root access to my phone and, it, and it's getting really warm uh, feels like I'm gonna destroy the phone but yeah if I destroy it, it's by a new one no you won't that would be very expensive <sighs> but you know this is one of the things that's fun you know pack and do stuff and then finally when it works you, you'll be like yes I'm the man um yeah okay so, let's go ahead and go here. And I hate that media scanner. And let's go down to applications again. Uh, development, turn it off. Plug in the cable again. And uh, fire up super one click. Let's try it out. Killing ADB server. Oh yeah, this time... Oh no. Start some kind of demon tool. Okay, here the internet is working. Yeah, got a Gmail message. This time's taking a little longer. Start the ADB server. Maybe we need to have the USB debugging mode on for a super on click. That could be the case. Actually, I think we need the USB debugging mode turned on. Yes, I, th I think that's the case. So, I'm just going to disconnect it again. And uh, maybe we should restart the computer as well. I mean, I think that could be a good idea. Um, so let's go ahead and restart our computer. Yeah. Let's go ahead and restart it. So, one of my recommendations, restart your computer. That, that is usually fix a lot of things. Um, so, you will basically see now when my computer is going to reboot. Oh yes! The first time you see that, no, it's the second time. Uh, but it, it doesn't boot as fast as I could. Because it is doing some kind of thing with the BIOS settings. Uh, yeah. So it shall boot up. It shall boot up. It shall boot up, and we should turn on um, turn on our debugging mode as well again. I suppose that's that's you know important. <sighs> Plug in our cable. Just fire up super one click, hit root. Restarting your computer, your device already appears to be rooted. Oh, <laughs> already appears to be rooted. Okay, so it actually did root my phone, but it didn't start up. So, seems like it got stuck. Uh, I sure you want to continue. No! So, we are basically rooted right now. That's kind of awesome. Maybe that was just because I restarted my computer. No. Uh, but it seems like it did root my phone, but it got stuck, you know, uh, at restarting. So, let's just go ahead and have a quick look here, shall we? 
um, to go ahead and see for all self. If we go ahead and go to our program here, uh, not super user, but root check basic. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Here we can see we have root access. You're gonna uh, get this thing that you have to confirm that you are a super user or allow this program to uh, have this super user thing so they can see uh, stuff about your phone. Congratulations! You have the root access! So guys, I know that this has been a very long video just showing you how to root the phone, but you know, that's just the way it is. I just want to show you, and this is weird uh, with the camera, this one is actually blue in the background, but yeah. Um, so that's basically how you root your Android device. So, that's kind of awesome. See you.